Uh, greetings, everyone. Uh, uh, as uh, as uh, I was introduced, I'm Dr. Su. Uh, today, my topic is talking about the uh, computer CPCT, uh, right? Uh, digital information and artificial intelligence application in Brito uh, and uh, uh, and Odantic's clinical practice. Uh, uh, very, very happy, uh, it's my honor to speak in the uh, uh, ACO and FR. So, uh, in this picture, we can see uh, this is the, uh, uh, the, uh, the 3D reconstruction of the CBCT image. Uh, from the left to the right is a uh, a uh, ball, uh, main, main, main ball and the maxillary ball with tools and uh, the tools only and uh, finally uh, the root canal uh, 3D uh, reconstruction uh, in, in, uh, by, by CDCP. So this one is uh, generated by artificial intelligence. So uh, later I will uh, uh, tell uh, how, how we do this. Uh, this is my uh, a portfolio. Uh, I graduated from Chongsan University and now I am practicing uh, Taoshan University. Uh, I also uh, have uh, the, uh, the, uh, the specialty of operative dentistry and the endodontology in Taiwan. And I also uh, got my own YouTube channel. Uh, if you are interested, interested in something I speak, uh, you can scan the QR code or just uh, Google my name, Su Yihui, and you will uh, get my YouTube channel. Uh, part of my research, I put it on my uh, channel, you can find it. And uh, be, uh, before we start it, I would like to show this uh, simple case, um, maybe not that simple. Uh, I would like to show this case uh, to, to you that uh, with the, the above, and the above is uh, pre-operating. Below this is post operating. Uh, this is a, a molar uh, I retreat, I, I, uh, as I do the endodontic retreatment. And you can, as you can see, the, uh, the maxillary, maxillary sinus is informative. And uh, after I treat it, the maxillary sinus uh, become uh, healed, uh, but it's not completely healed. And this is the, I, uh, I would like to say to each one, uh, everyone, uh, this the uh, CBCT here is we uh, do the endodontic practice every, uh, every day. This is uh, very important information for us endodontics. And as you can see, uh, in every section, uh, including coronal section, axial section, and sagittal section, you can see the uh, maxillary sinusitis become uh, better and uh, uh, the, the tree uh, the, the root canal I treat it I feel it and uh, in other like SEO SEO view I think we can see the foam healing and the root canal I treat it and then also the cylindrical view so uh, this is uh, pre pre operative and lower is uh, post operative and this is a, a, a three years follow up this is initial and after treatment, uh, before, uh, before treatment and after treatment. So nowadays we can see a lot of uh, digital dentistry, uh, including uh, maybe prosthodontics and implantology or uh, like restorative or uh, operative dentistry, all of this. We use, uh, we, we got a patient in reality. Uh, we uh, use the scanner, the intraoral scanner uh, to uh, have the uh, patient information transformed from reality to digital. And later, we design our prosthetics or a veneer of single crown or bridge something. After we design that in digital world, and we use TechCam, a computer app design and computer app manufacturer, like this machine. And we put the digital information back to the reality. So, uh, in our uh, endodontic practice, uh, we, uh, of course, we still have the patient uh, with the scalp or his tooth, his root canal, in reality, reality. And we have the CBCT and the scanner to put this 
uh, this information of the, about the tools and the new canal to digital world. And uh, we also can uh, have our print and dynamic practice with the 3D print guide like this one, uh, or navigation system that we can practice. We can put this information back to the reality. So uh, I will show uh, a lot of cases uh, that I, I did with this information. So uh, before I begin, I show you uh, the machine or the tools uh, that I use in uh, Cultural Medical University. Uh, this one is the Newton CBCT. But I think I, I see the Morita CBCT out there. Morita uh, resolution is very good. And I use the three share uh, trial three oral scanner and, uh, and the frozen 4K uh, 3D printer. And, uh, we have uh, also uh, the X side navigation system and the uh, iPad. iPad, uh, this one is uh, produced by Taiwan. Uh, and Iris 100 navigation system. So uh, this one is my outline. I am going to uh, uh, go through this six topic. Let's see in this way. Uh, first three, uh, first first three uh, is a three D print guide, including the non-surgical and odontic guide, surgical and odontic guide, and the three D print auto auto transportation. And we have uh, also the dynamic navigation system uh, with uh, non-surgical non endodontic and surgical endodontics. Uh, and, uh, and in the last, we will talk about uh, the artificial intelligence and uh, its application in endodontics. Let's begin with the first one, 3D print non-surgical endodontic guide. And as you can see, uh, this image right here is the reconstruction from the CBCT. And this one is the 3D print non surgical and dynamic guide. And this one is a uh, uh, cemental osseous dysphoria right here. And uh, they, uh, you know, we, we call it uh, maybe chronic and chronic in endodontics. And uh, uh, we got this uh, pro uh, process, uh, this single crown here, and not very good, look at the and with ample lesion. And this one is uh, a reconstruction of the, of, uh, the, the CBCT. And we directly see the CBCT uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in, the, in this view. And at the, uh, at the left is the original CBCT, and the, at the right is after I do the digital design. And you can see uh, this one is the video label route that I cannot access. After I, uh, I remove the crown and I, uh, I en enter the uh, box space, and but I cannot find the video label root canal. So maybe we see it again. So I cannot find the visual label root canal, so I uh, sent the patient to have a uh, perform the, the CBCT. And this one, this green circle here, is the visual label canal that I prepare to use to, to use the three D guide to enter it, to enter the, the visual label canal. And we can see this in uh, every view. <coughs> Here is the uh, this, this uh, green cylinder is that I uh, I, I will promote the drill to drill past uh, this uh, classification and reach the visual visual canal. So this is uh, another view in the software. So uh, this one, and I will uh, design like this, use the 3D, 3D print technique, and use the 3D printing with uh, a little uh, metal sleeve here to guide our drill to pass through the classification to reach the visual label canal. So this is uh, the uh, microscope view. Uh, here is the visual label canal right here, but we cannot find. And this one is after we use the 3D print guide to reach the visual canal. 
And after that, uh, I can uh, file all the canal, and I remove the old uh, V dollar per job and uh, clean it with raising with calcium hydroxide. And after that, I use a, a collateral compaction technique to fill the tubes uh, and a little bit seal, seal, seal over here. And this one is the uh, after uh, post, -op, uh, post operative treatment image. And uh, I got this one three years follow up. Uh, uh, three, three months follow up, and the patient symptom is subsided, and the ankle lesion healed a little bit. And here is a one year follow up. The uh, patient is with cell symptom side, but I think the ankle lesion is not uh, perfectly, per perfectly healed. But the uh, uh, patient feel good, and there's no problem uh, he chewing, so uh, we perform the crown on it. So this one is the first one uh, with the three D print uh, non surgical and donatic guide. And let's see the second one. We use the three D print surgical and donatic guide. And this one uh, with this uh, lower first premolar with uh, root canal treated and the post and crown on it. Uh, patient complete the swelling and the tube uh, and, and the pan and the two sac. So we decided to first we remove the uh, crown and the post uh, because I think the post is not, not really uh, not, not that hard to be removed. So uh, at the first we uh, we still perform the endodontic retreatment. So this is uh, so uh, be, uh, in, in this time we think it is a uh, it's a, a small case. Uh, it is a piece of tape. We didn't perform the uh, CBCT. Right here, I think we we see and uh, maybe we just retreat it and it will heal. So we perform the root canal treatment, and after we use uh, microscope, we found it's a uh, it's a uh, it's got a missing canal here. So it's a two canal lower first remover. So uh, we remove the the upper jaw and check the working lens, and with the grazing uh, and we fill it uh, with the upper jaw. Right here. Uh, after we view it and we follow up for three months, but uh, uh, and and that's the side track still comes out. So after that, we decide to uh, perform the ankle surgery because the retreatment is not work. So, uh, but in this case, we can see that the reconstruction here, the ankle lesion is close to the uh, mental ground. So, uh, in our opinion, if we want to perform the look at uh, the ankle surgery here, it will be risky, and we will harm, uh, we will hurt the uh, mental problem, uh, the, the nerve here. So, we did design to use the we design to, to use the CVCT uh, to have a bone reconstruction, and we use the oral scan to get the uh, get the intraoral scan for the soft tissue. And, uh, and the, the tooth service. So after that, we put the CBCT and the uh, oral scan together and man match the tooth surface with the bone surface together, and we make this model. So we use this model that have the accurate tooth service and the accurate bone service together, and we this, uh, design this uh, surgical surgical uh, glide guide here that I will use the pre-fiber to penetrate the buccal bone and to uh, avoid, uh, avoid to hurt the mental problem here. So uh, this is the surgical 3D print, the surgical guide here. And you can, as you can see, uh, if I put the surgical guide on the tools and the, on the jigsaw, because the service is the bone service uh, at here, so the, the, the scan will press on the gingerbread bar. They have a, a little bit of uh, uh, the, 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 the print here. So this is the, uh, the, the surgical guide here. So uh, we can see the surgical uh, process. First we do the incision. Uh, we, and uh, we reflect the plan. 
So our guy is directly attached to the phone service. So uh, if we remove the guy, or we, uh, we uh, uh, have the flag reflect, we, the, the phone guy is directly attached to the phone, and we remove the uh, buckle plate with the uh, uh, tree fiber. And after that, we cut the, uh, this one still the bone segment here, and this one is the loop segment, the echo, uh, the, the loop end. And as you, can, as you can see, we have the two, uh, two canal here, uh, we saw upper jaw. Uh, we uh, use the uh, ultrasonic to remove the remain the upper jaw and then clean the, clean the uh, remain canal space. And after we fill, fill it with uh, MTA, uh, we put a little uh, uh, gel foam here and put the foam plate back there. And we suture it. Okay, so uh, as you can see, this is the procedure we uh, go through. We use the 3D print guide to open the bolt plate and uh, directly resect the two uh, the blue end. And we can see the two data pressure uh, previously we filled uh, here, and we uh, do the uh, ultrasonic retrograde operation. And the isthmus, the isthmus uh, between two loop nail, uh, we also pre prepare it. And this one is after the preparation, we fill the MTA on the loop service, uh, on, on the uh, uh, MPO, uh, we perform the retrograde uh, uh, feeling with MTA. So uh, this one uh, is the post operative. And this is the loop end. Uh, as you can see, we uh, a little, maybe a little like uh, the calculus uh, here, maybe, but we didn't do the, uh, we didn't do the, uh, the topological check. And this is the uh, post-operative, we can see the MTA retrograde and this one is the three months follow-up. Okay, and, uh, the, and the patient is uh, free of symptom. So that's the second one. And the third one, we uh, uh, have seen this uh, 3D print auto transplantation. So this one is the uh, uh, 7274 uh, vertical root fracture here. And we think that uh, the, the thermal one is good, so we plan to uh, we, uh, to transplant the third molar to the second molar place. So uh, we take the CBCT and uh, to perform the, uh, I call it digital extraction. But it just removes the image uh, of 47, uh, the, the second molar, we remove it, and uh, uh, like this, we just remove it in, uh, in digital software. And we perform the digital planning. We uh, reset the segmentation of these two, including third molar, uh, third molar and the second molar, and remove the second molar and put the third molar uh, image from here to here. So uh, we also cut the CBCD here. This is the digital transplantation. But it's just a simulation, it's not a big deal. So uh, we uh, uh, trend after we designed the two tooth uh, position here. We designed the Bluetooth procedure that uh, we have to prepare like this. So we put also the like the input guide. We put some. Or we put four cylinder here, and for our to prepare the uh, the uh, extraction socket to uh, to have our transparent tools. So this one is I uh, the surgical uh, the blue one is the three D print guide. And the green one is the transplanted third molar. Um, he's protected on its position. And the uh, uh, cylinder, four pink cylinder here, that is where I should prepare the socket for the transplantation. So this is the 
I got uh, two surgical guide. This one is with the tools on it, and this one is only with the drill pads on it. And this one is the uh, uh, the the uh, analog. So uh, let's see the uh, surgical process. First, we remove the vertical roof fracture tools, and we quick clean the socket. Remove the granulation tissue here. And we uh, drill, drill the extrusion socket uh, with our uh, four uh, with, with our drill guide to prepare the extrusion socket. And after that, we check uh, if there are any uh, undercut or uh, any. Interference. Uh, we can uh, if uh, if that we can put our analog tools in, in, in it. So if it is not, we uh, we go still go to drill it <coughs> and try it. And uh, in this process, we still uh, we did uh, in, in this time we still didn't uh, extract the thermal yet. And then we'll uh, uh, to to reduce our uh, thermal load to leave the socket uh, the the time of the uh, extra time of the thermal. Load. Okay, you can see uh, uh, the tooth is almost in his it, uh, the analog is almost in its position. So here uh, we found that it can uh, we we got the position uh, we got it can get into the position. So uh, we uh, we we we, uh, we extracted the thermometer. Okay. And this one uh, this one is the thermometer and with the analog we uh, picture it. Uh, the is almost the same. And this one is the vertical root fracture tools. I extracted it and I found uh, the root canal, uh, the vertical root fracture here. I sit with the uh, mesenchymal. Uh, uh, I stand it. You can see the vertical root fracture here. And this, uh, this uh, in the left is the pre-op, and left uh, right is the post-operative. So uh, this is our digital planning go through uh, pre-operative and digital planning, and this one is post-operative. And after that, we uh, perform the root canal treatment after the auto transplantation. And I have this patient. Uh, you can see, uh, the, of course, the thermal structure is here, and the apples lesion and the cavity I prepared. Uh, is healed. This one is a uh, 2.5 year follow up. And here we come to the. Sorry. Hmm? Oh, I think this I, I marked this wrong. This one is the dynamic navigation of non surgical and adaptive. Non surgical and adaptive. Non surgical. Okay. Oh, and the topics. Okay, it's non-surgical and dodonti. And this one is uh, this patient complain about the long-term tooth soreness. Uh, it's the, the 2014 and the 20. Uh, uh, I have because this patient uh, regularly go to the perio department, so he uh, received uh, the perio treatment, but he complained about the tooth self, uh, tooth, tooth soreness. Uh, for a very very long time, from the uh, 20, uh, 2014 to 2022. So as you can see, uh, it has uh, a lot. Of this tooth has uh, a lot of uh, amalgam filling here, and you can see in 2014, uh, the pot space is still still here. But after maybe two or three years, the pot space is almost. Almost, uh, almost uh, disappear. So I think that's uh, kind of a classification here. And after a uh, very long time, we complain about the soreness still, and we can uh, in 20, uh, 22, uh, the amalgam feeling has cracked and have a little bit uh, the the uh, the gap here. 
and the new canal uh, phase is almost cannot be seen. So uh, it comes to uh, the panel department refer he he come to our uh, department uh, to receive the endodontic treatment because of uh, his tooth closeness. So this one maybe we call it uh, the tooth uh, uh, canal obliteration in endodontics. And this one is the re reconstruction of the CBCP image. And the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the yellow one is the razor. And I, after I drill it into the root canal, I cannot find anything there. So before, uh, because I done a lot of endodonty, so I, I aware that if I uh, keep going through, maybe I will get perforated tooth. So I started uh, before uh, perforated, maybe one millimeter before I perforated. I put a little bit like our packs inside, and I sent patient to have a CBCT checking. So let's see it again. Uh, here we can see the filling, uh, root, uh, resin filling here, and this one is the space I prepared. And a little bit by our packs here, I put the radio opacity. And after that, very lower here, we, we can found, at the, the, uh, I think that is uh, uh, above my preparation, uh, 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 below my preparation, maybe uh, three, uh, two, uh, two point, two point five millimeter. That uh, that the deep wall that I penetrated, so I can get to the root canal. But this is uh, not very easy. I think this this is not not very easy. I can reach. So uh, uh, just like the previous, I used the breathing print guide. This one uh, is the same concept. We use the uh, dynamic navigation, and we plan this two cylinder here that I will. Three pad, two, three, three, this two, uh, blue thing here, and I three pass, and I can reach the root canal. So this is the digital planning. And let's see the, uh, uh, here, here is the, uh, uh, when I am prepared, prepare. and this is the x side navigation. And this one, uh, this cylinder here, I have to make it uh, make sure it uh, direct uh, fit to the X here. It called X side, so you got X here. And if you drill it, is, you can see, you can see uh, this. I move it here. I find to get it to the root canal. And the X side, uh, they they will show you to the green green circle or to the, the green green circle is good. And red circle is a little bit over. So this one here, I, I get a little bit over uh, because I found that I can get into the loop and canal space. And this is the dynamic navigation here. So after I get into the loop canal, I uh, perform the loop canal feeling. And the patient uh, are good and they have he, uh, uh, no more complaint about the two sources. And this one is a six year follow, a six months follow up. Uh, so uh, we get to the uh, uh, after previous non surgical endodontics, we get to the uh, dynamic navigation of surgical endodontics. And this one is the first molar with echo region. Uh, both in visio uh, groups and the digital groups. And the post here is, uh, I think, is uh, uh, for me, it's uh, very difficult to remove, I think. And maybe because some, uh, maybe if uh, we remove it, maybe because some root canal, uh, root canal, uh, uh, that vertical root fracture, maybe. So we design, we don't remove the ground, we don't remove the post, uh, we uh, directly to do the echo surgery. But the posterior tooth, the uh, ankle surgery is uh, maybe simple, and the buckle plate of, uh, of the fir first molar here may be a little bit difficult. So, uh, as the previous, we, use, we use the x type uh, system, and we, prefer, uh, we, uh, we set this positive here, 
to uh, penetrate the bulk plate and uh, also uh, in the same time we remove the tooth and pencil uh, the, the pencil the, the UM. And so we, you can see this one is the mesial root planning and this one is the distal root planning. Mesial, distal, mesial, distal. Okay? <laughs> so here is uh, the the actual view that which I am prepared. I use the X sign and you can as you can see uh, I when I use the dynamic navigation I don't see the patient. I look at, at the, uh, the 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 screen here. And of course we do it very slowly. We will not very very fast. And uh, when when you see uh it's get the green it's, it means you reach uh, the position that you want. Okay. So uh, let's. Uh, if you perform the uh, dynamic navigation, you have to have the the, the, the tracker, tracker here. And if you perform the implant planning uh, or you 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 do the implant, you cannot ask patient to bite, right? But if you do the ample surgery, because we don't need. Uh, patient to open his mouth. So this one, I, I usually when I plan, uh, I I do the ankle surgery with navigation. I tell patient to find the this shaker, and that makes the shaker more not move, not movable, and patient uh, will be uh, more more, com uh, more comfortable the, when when they find the shaker. And as you can see the. Uh, the bulk, uh, the bulk window here is circle. It's a circle because I use the remember. And uh, this is the visual root and the visual root. And you can see uh, the data percha inside and a little bit uh, distance between two canal. And this one is after I use the ultrasonic tip to uh, prepare the uh, lumen preparation and also uh, open the isthmus here. And also uh, the distal uh, canal. And this one, I use uh, uh, also I use uh, MTA uh, to perform the uh, uh, retrograde feeding. Uh, after all the uh, procedure I have uh, done, uh, I will put the bulk plate that I removed it previous with the remember and uh, put it back to uh, the bulk uh, the bulk window. And this is the post operating. Um, you can see the root was root and the post root was cut. And a little bit image of the bone plate put back, put back, uh, that I put back. And this is the three months follow up. And this is a six month follow up. As you can see, uh, the, uh, the amplification is almost healed, almost healed. And the patient uh, without, uh, without any symptom sign. It's the one year follow up. One year, uh, the uh, ample uh, you cannot uh, uh, almost you cannot see the ample uh, uh, lesion here. So uh, come to our uh, very uh, uh, last part of it. Uh, we are talking a little bit about the artificial intelligence application in endodontics. Uh, so this one is the uh, in my. Uh, uh, in the, at the first, you can see in my topic uh, page. Uh, this one is uh, we train the computer, we train the AI uh, with CBCT image, and this one is the direct. Uh, so this I use the uh, deep learning algorithm. Uh, I just I took the CBCT inside uh, the model I train. And it will come out with the bulk service and the two service and the the uh, pop, uh, the pop. So uh, how can I do that? I uh, this uh, this is the CT image here. And label is this. I label the tools by my own hand. I tell the computer that uh, this one is the bone. Uh, the, the gray one is the bone. And the yellow one is the tooth, and the uh, green one is the root canal. So, that means uh, this one is I, 
uh, I use the software to draw and tell uh, the AI that this uh, what tissue it is. So the AI can learn from the CT and the level image and predict the, the image here. So this one is the prediction of you can uh, you, uh, uh, this is the right one is the image that AI uh, predict. So this is what I did. I used the uh, uh, because the leveling, leveling uh, is very time consuming. So I used uh, this uh, drawing pad to mark the every juice and the, the the tissue I don't want. And it, it uh, maybe not, not very not 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 every slice, but uh, maybe two to three slices I can uh, tell it. Uh, so you can see the green green mark is tooth, and the yellow mark is root canal. So I can uh, use the pad to. Uh, this is very fast, and I I use the pad to uh, tell a uh, computer that what tissue it is. Uh, and I circle on the ball uh, because uh, the tooth uh, window, uh, the the, uh, the the window uh, volume of tooth and the ball is very close. So I have to circle it and tell uh, tell computer that this one is ball, this one is the teeth, and uh, and the new canal here. This is the process. This is the actual we after all the root one uh, the the tooth was marked. Uh, you can see it's a different color. I mark every tooth with different color and different uh, uh, the the image here. So this is what I mark. So uh, if you want to train this one, you have to do uh, a lot like this, this work. And uh, this is uh, after all my uh, my marking was done, the level was done, and the different tooth color, and as you can see, the root canal also. Yes, uh, and uh, this one is uh, the software I used. Uh, it's an open source. It's uh, in open source uh, software. It's developed by the uh, the American. Uh, Hydrogen department, I think. You can uh, have the, uh, you can try check it with uh, you just Google it. Uh, it's a three D slicer, and this is the accuracy that I get. The average accuracy is uh, ninety uh, percent, and the ball is ninety six because the ball is easy, and the tooth is uh, a little bit uh, a little harder. It's a ninety two percent. But the root, uh, the root canal is uh, maybe not that good. It's just, just accuracy is just eighty four percent. And uh, at the lower one, this was uh, this is the validation and the uh, loss function of the uh, AI training. So uh, this is what I get at, at uh, in the in the end. And also uh, we have our endodontic. Uh, the laboratory in our school that's uh, for the full grade students. Uh, this year is the first year we try to have pay, uh, have our students to use the uh, use the microscope in endodontic laboratory for the uh, full first grade uh, students. So of course uh, we have them to take a lot of picture uh, in the uh, microscope. So uh, this one is uh, because the microscope is uh, we just rented, we didn't buy it. We don't have a lot of time, so we only have the premolar uh, open image and the premolar uh, root canal feeding image and the almost open image. So I collect this uh, uh, this uh, uh, image and I put. Into uh, uh, it's then the teach form machine. This one is Google somewhere that's also open source on the internet. You can use it. You can simply train uh, a little, uh, a simple, easy model 
that can tell you uh, if this if this picture is a dog or this picture is a cat. It's called Tishful Machine. You can use this uh, like uh, you just use uh, your, your webcam and uh, it's online. It's truly uh, like, like uh, it's easy. You can just upload your image here, like this is hand or something. And let's see, uh, we, uh, yes, uh, you can use your webcam, webcam to capture uh, like this one is you and this one is your dog. And after you train your model, it will tell you is this dog uh, or this one is you. So uh, I put uh, the, uh, the, the student image, including the uh, model open here, and the model uh, pre model open and the pre model RCN group look at the I put the whole image inside it, and I can get a model that uh, I. I Give the, uh, I give the computer another picture that it can show uh, this one is 38% uh, uh, premolar open and 62% uh, uh, premolar root canal feeding. And this one is a, a, a simple model of the uh, uh, endodontic uh, practice. And I think uh, maybe, uh, yes, uh, this is uh, the whole uh, uh, all the stuff uh, stuff that I I talk today. Thank you.